Hi, and welcome to Game of the Week. So we're here on our fourth day this week playing Red Dead Redemption 2. So I'm really excited to still be playing this game. Um, at the end of yesterday's video, I was robbing the train, and then I just totally screwed up at the end, and I just randomly fell off the train. So I have gotten back to where we were, and that is where we pick up the action. All right, so I got to aim at this guy. Oh, what happened? Oh, because he threw my friend off? Oh, so I gotta get him before he throws the- Oh, God. So I failed that immediately. I failed to save Lenny. I was working on saving Lenny. All right. All right. I'll save Lenny. Ugh. I really thought I was just gonna breeze right through that. Fine, game. Fine. We'll do it your way, then. All right. I'll just be real quick about it. I can't see. I- all right, Lenny's alive! And we're both on the train now. There we go. Get to the front engine car. Huh. That should have been easy. I don't know why I kept screwing that up. Oh, look out for the sparks. Well, that train stopped so easily. That's not true to trains. Trains can't stop. They're a skyscraper turned on their side. What am I hiding from? Oh, there's a guy. I just shot that guy in the head. Why is he not dying? All right, there's a guy. All right, so I did that. Where's the other guy? He's up there. Boom, he's gone. Got it, all right. I was like, whoa, I totally just clued out of what I was doing for a second. I just got real excited that I knocked a guy off the train. Are we good? No, there's another guy. There's another, there's a whole other guy. All right, I think, oh, nope, there's more guys. Where are you coming from? I thought we knocked everybody off the train. Were you guys on there the whole time? Why were you guys so prepared for us? There we go. Knocked another guy down. Gotta get out of what? Oh, I like all the X's on the ground that show all the people that we killed. That's a, that's a lot of people. There we go. Get to cover. Get to cover, you idiot. All right. All right. So there's going to be a guy... Somewhere and wha bam! I don't know who these guys. Oh wait, these are our guys! I almost tried to kill one of our guys. I was like, wait a minute, who are these people on horses? But it turns out they're our guys. Where's my hat? Where's my hat? I dropped my hat somewhere. Guys, I need. Oh, was that it? Was that my hat? Pick up. No, that's just a dead guy. No, no, no! Leave him! Leave him! Wait, I don't. I don't want to wear this guy as a hat. Put him down. Drop him. I just wanted to pick up my hat. Forget it. I'll just have a cold head. Fine. Fine, game. I'll loot this guy. Maybe I get his hat. I don't know. All right, guys. I'm just going to come over there and meet you. I don't want to wait for a hat anymore. We're good. I'm fine. Everything's okay. Hey. Yeah, we're here. We're here to get the train now. We're here to rob this Cornwall train. Or whatever. All right. What? We don't want to kill any of you. I thought we just killed everybody. Are there other people in there that don't want to be killed? What? Yeah, who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? That's what we wanted to find out in the end of yesterday's video. What? Oh. Alright, so I guess we're going to go in there and kill everybody in there, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're just shooting this. Oh, tap right trigger to, oh, that's cool. I can fire from the hip real quick. Yeah, I wonder if they're still in there having a good old time. Oh, are we gonna blow the train up? I thought we were trying to, I thought we were trying to do whatever. Approach the carriage door. All right, place the dynamite. This is gonna go real well. Light the fuses. Now we're gonna wanna run the other way. Hopefully I don't just like, Squat and crawl real quick. All right, let's run, 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 run. Get away! It's gonna blow! It's gonna explode! Our first explosion of the game. Well, that went pretty well, I feel. All right, let's get back in there. Oh, hey, we got Teddy Roosevelt. Fantastic! One of the presidents of the United States of America, or whatever. Well, he was. What do I mean, or whatever? All right, so now we're gonna go get the goodies off the train, correct? Man, we just, that was just such a nice clean hole that we 
put in this train. Go to the private car. Is that not what this is? I think this this sure looks like a private car. Huh? Yeah, this is fancy for back then in 1899. Look how fancy that is. All right, find loot on the train. I'll inspect this. Is this loot? Oh, this is reading. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the uh, something Indian Reservation. Ambassador? I don't know what that word is. And agreed in the contract between Cornwall something. I'm not going to try and read cursive. Ugh. This is, this does feel a lot like Assassin's Creed, like inspect the room, find different clues, and then you have it in your database to look at. Take, take the thing. There we go. I haven't checked my stats. Ooh, I got some fine brandy. Fine brandy. All right, so let's inspect this piece of paper that's probably going to have more cursive writing on it. I don't want to read it. All right, it'll just put it in there. So I got it. So it looks like I don't have to read all of that. So over here, search the cabinet. What kind of goodies are we gonna, we're gonna find some real good goodies in here. Hey, there's a fox, can I take that fox thing? Yeah, let's open that box. Yeah, what's in here? Anything good? Surely something good's gonna be in that box. Here we go, keep it, put it in our pockets, we're good. Hey, I got Bond, James Bond. Good. All right, I'm gonna take, take some things. Search the cabinet, maybe we can get more James Bond. We'll get. Bondier. Oh, get back to the game. But I was searching. All right, I'll close. The I've closed every cabinet that I've encountered so far in this game. I am not about to leave one open. I am going to be very thorough with my cabinetage that I do in this game. All right, can I run off the train? Not really. Everything kind of goes at whatever pace it wants to. There we go. I found Bond. James Bond. Yeah, was that a good find? Hopefully they're pleased with me. I haven't felt that they're wanting to kill me based on my performance, but I don't know. What are we doing with these guys? We leaving them? We killing them? I think we should just leave them. Oh, it is up to me. Fantastic. Well, I'm just going to leave them. I don't care. I'll just leave them. Are they going to leave folk after us? We can handle any folks that come after us. We're the toughest robbing gang in the old wild, wild west. All right, so I get to decide. Deal with the guards. All right, threaten. All right. All right, so I think I took the peaceful option. Yeah, get on there. I don't want to have to shoot you, but I will. But I won't. Go to the engine car to start the train. Oh, yeah. Am I going to, like, blow up the tracks? And Because this is going to be a train out of control, and they're just going to be stuck on it. That's going to end well for them. So I didn't I didn't physically kill them, but I did send them on the track to their death. I just kicked a dead guy in the head. That just happened. <laughs> Oops. All right. Let's just get up there on the train. Shouldn't be hard. Just climb. Climb, you idiot. There we go. All right. So how do I start the train? I just start it, right? Just go. Right? There you go. Whistle for the horse. Jump off the train. Later, fellas. I'm getting on my trusty steed, and we are riding to freedom. Or something like that, or it'll fade gently to black. One or the other, but surely there's more to come. That can't be the entire game. Although there was a time that, like, achieving that level of detail and that level of story in a video game would have been, like, the maximum. Where it would be, like, that game where you go and then you just, like, rob that train at the end. Whoa! Like, there was a time that that would have blown your mind in a video game. Maybe it still would have felt short. But I don't know. I've played this game for, like, three hours now or so it feels. Eastward bound! I thought we were heading west! Why are we heading east? Oh, no. Wait. Where does this game even take place? I, I'm just assuming it's the Wild West. Alright. Maybe it takes place in the whole country. We can just go wherever we want. We're heading east in the wintertime. It's just going to get snowier. It's not going to get less. I think it should be west, not east. Near Valentine? Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, 
Oh, that guy don't look good. Who was that guy? Was that was that still Marston or whatever? But it looked like he had silver hair. That didn't make any sense. I don't know. Everybody's getting in their covered wagons. They're re getting ready to go. Well, we're on a journey now. We're traveling through the beautiful winter scenery of wherever the heck we are. I have still no sense of the world of this game yet. We're four videos in. Oh, gosh. Like, all the videos this week have been long on purpose so that we can try and further get into all of the things. But we're still going. But now there's music playing and sing songing happen, happening. Yeah. All right. I'm into it. I'm into it. God, my voice does not sound good, does it? Yeah. All right. So we're just going to watch some beautiful scenery of traveling east. Maybe by the end of this cutscene, it'll just be like not winter anymore because we've been traveling for a long time and it'll be spring and it'll be great and we'll get to explore the entire world then. Maybe? I don't know. See, it's starting to look more spring-like. I would call that spring-like. Less wintry, there's less snow in this shot. More fog, but less snow. There's even less snow in this shot. I mean, there's some in the back, but I mean, there's no snow in this shot. Look at that, it's still lots of fog, but I feel like we're really making progress towards where, I, where I'd like to be. Yeah. yeah. This is great. This is great. This is exactly what I was hoping for like two videos ago, but whatever. The scenery in this game is beautiful looking. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to explore the world here. All right, so it's handing me the controls of the, the covered wagon here. All right, match the speed with the caravan. Why would it assume that I don't want to do that? Because also we're not matching the speed of the caravan here. We're just kind of moseying our way along, or are we matching it? All right, so we just got to, we're going to walk across. This is like the Oregon Trail where you have your uh, covered wagon, and it's like, oh, you, you must cross the river. Do you do this, or does it go badly? And then ultimately, does this game end with this deaths of dysentery? Oh, our wheel just straight up came. That's inconvenient. All right. Yeah, we're fine. One wheel came off. I've driven a car basically on three wheels before. I was driving back from when I was in college. I was driving home uh, one night, and I was driving back home, and there was I come around this turn on the highway, and there's just something there in the road. It looked like it was like a muffler from a truck. It was probably not. It was probably something else. Oh, I should pick up the wheel while they're holding that up instead of telling my story. But I hit this thing, and it was like one of those things where it's like, I don't know if you've ever been driving, and you hit something in the road, and just the sound it makes, it's just one of those where you're like, ooh, that wasn't a good sound. Something bad happened. So I was just like... Well, I don't know what happened, but it wasn't good. So I just drove like 80 mile an hour all the way home. And it turns out when I got the car looked at it, it bent the, fr like, it bent the axle of the car. So I basically drove w on three wheels most of the way home. It was not good, but I didn't know the extent of the damage. That car was in the shop for like a month or more after that. Because that happened at the end of November 2012. And I didn't get that car back until sometime in like, January? Yeah, I didn't get that car back until sometime in January, so it was like over a month. Oh, the natives! Hey! Hello! Why are they poor bastards? Oh, yeah, we did screw them over. That, that is honestly the history of America is that we screwed over the natives. And we should be ashamed of our actions. We really should. Americans are terrible people sometimes. All right, let's get back up on... Let's get back on the wagon. Like, it's a figure of speech, but... Let's literally get back on the wagon. Did they... They didn't even wait for us! Go to the horseshoe overlook. All right, you can switch radar sizes and compasses by holding that. All right. Expanded. All right. Oh, well, that's too big. I don't need that. Regular. All right. There we go. I, I, it's like, I'm just going to follow the yellow line to get there, because I know that that's the fastest way to get there. Oh, there was like a... What was that, like a squirrel or a fox or something that's running over there? I know squirrels and foxes are not the same thing. But why did the group not wait for us? They just took off without us, and now we're just slowly moseying our way along. God, this is such a beautiful game. I see why it took them eight years to make the game. Well, maybe it didn't take them eight years to make the game, because I think they were probably working on... GTA 5 for a good bit of it there, and that's why we haven't got a Grand Theft Auto 6 because they've been busy working on this game. I totally get it. So then, Grand Theft Auto 6 must be next. So if we wait, how many years has it been since Grand Theft Auto 5 came out? See, it's 2018 now, came out fall 2013, so five years. So in five years. So in 
2023, fall of 2023 is when we should expect Grand Theft Auto 6. So that'll mean that 10 years went between Grand Theft Auto games, which is unusual. Normally it's not as many, but I mean, Grand Theft Auto 5 was just full of so many different things. So uh, that game has actually managed to sustain itself and still be fun for a lot of people for a long time. And they keep adding things, especially to the online part. So they've done a really good job of keeping that up. So it's good. Hey, we're finally picking up some speed and there's no such thing as wagon stamina. So all right. Here we go. So all we had to do was just bash that wheel on real good, and we're doing pretty good. So I was wondering when we were going through that river. I was like, that wheel looks like it's coming right off, but I don't know. We're looking at the people for a while. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? What is that? It's a reference from uh, uh, an old TV show from back way back in the when. What was it called? I don't remember. I don't. If you remember what that show was called, uh, the What You Talking About Willis show, what was that? Uh, I don't remember. If you know what it was, uh, leave a comment and let me know, and then it'll refresh my memory. Of course, I could just Google it and be like, oh, yeah, it was that. But, I mean, what's the fun in that? I want you guys to engage with me and let me know what you think the things are, and then, then I'll look it up and be like, oh, yeah, you were right. Or you were wrong, because you might give me a wrong answer, too, because you may have no idea. You were too hot now. This is shown by the... Flashing sun icon in your health core while you were too hot. Be, make sure to wear clothes appropriate for the environment. Well, how do I change my clothes? I don't see anything in my health core that says I'm dying of anything. So I'm just going to keep on going. Because I think I'm okay. I don't think I'm too hot. And I also don't know how to change my clothes. Oh, wait. I think I do know how. How do I... No. I don't know how to change my clothes. It's fine. I don't think I've picked up different clothes. I don't I don't think I have like a tank top and shorts. Because this is the Old West. Those kinds of clothing did not exist. Or did they? I don't know much about Old West fashion, but I wanted to say that that kind of thing didn't exist. Look at all that! Look at all the nature and the animals. Having a great time. Deer prancing around. There's a butterfly. Oh, there's my health. But I appear to be doing okay. Oh, it's so much just walking around and doing things. Uh, let's just get where we're going. Can we just get where we're going? Yeah. How low is he going to what? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so sorry, everybody. This is just a lot of riding around and things are happening. And it's like, I want to record so much more, but I just don't have time. I'm leaving right after I record this. Oh, uh, and then I'll be gone for a week, but I'll be back, and then I'll record more, but we'll see. Okay, so we got a sign, so now, once we go left, we're gonna go to the left. How did everybody get so far ahead of us? We weren't stopped. We were stopped for all of 60 seconds, maybe. It wasn't very long. I really wish that there was, like, a turbo drive mode where you could, like, stick some nitrous up the butt of the horse, and then it goes, Wah! and it, like, takes off and goes really quick. Here we go. We're letterboxed again. That means something's happening, right? Oh, yeah. We're having snacks, right? It looks like he's, like, trying to scoop ice cream. You know how when you get, like, a thing of ice cream, it's, like, real hard to get at? And he, that's what it looks like he's doing. I don't know. what. He, well, that's not a spoon on it. It's like he's always oh, crushing stuff. What are you crushing? Oh, my God. Are they doing cocaine there? What are they doing? Oh, we've gotten some herbs or herbs. These can be consumed to replenish cores. Used to cooking your craft items. Got it. Oh, I missed the turn. Missed the turn. Don't hit the tree. Okay, we're going fine. A variety of plants can be throughout the world. Pick them up to learn about their properties. All right, so there's all kinds of exploring that can be done. Pendium tracks. What you have discovered in the world can be accessed in the progress section of the pause menu. All right. Hold for details. All right, give me the deets. What's the details? We've gotten nothing, basically. All right, that was real helpful. We've gotten... We found American ginseng. That's it. That's it. I don't I don't need to know everything that I found right now. Alright, I'm doing okay. We're just gonna keep on moving. Hiya! I feel like we're going quicker now. Alright, so I wanna go to the right. I wanna go over this way. Where are we actually heading right now? Are we heading anywhere interesting? Or exciting? Or fun? Or weird? Or cool? Follow the tracks a little bit. Okay. Oh! I feel like we're heading into a... All right, hold that to bring the wagon to a complete complete stop. Who's that? Who's this guy? Okay, let's go. Is he coming with us? All right, man. If you screw us over, I'm not gonna be happy, and I'm gonna have to kill you. I killed people on a train. Well, they I guess they jumped off the train. Well, no, they were on top of the train, and I shot at them in yesterday's video. So yeah, that holds true. Wait, 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 wait. I missed my turn. We're going into a rock. Wait, no. 
Now we're not going the right. Where do I need to go? That's a tree. All right, back it up. Back it up, horse. Okay, horses can't push this thing backwards. All right, I've gotten myself into quite the pickle here. Am I gonna have to get like, like an ax and start <laughs> chopping down trees to get myself out of this problem? No, don't hit the. You ran into the trees. Why? Oh, and now I've gone over the path. I don't understand the scale of the map. Oh, turn around. Horses, come on. All right, that looks like a path. I'm going to get onto it, and we're going to stay there, and everything will be fine. Hey, it looks like we've reached a campsite, finally. Well, we caught up with everybody else. Good. Good. Home sweet home. That's right. <sighs> Here we go. Just bring it to a complete stop. So. Yeah, it does look Gentlemen, perfect. It looks real nice. Survived. For now, yeah, we for have now, survived. It is time to prosper. I will survive. And, I were about to and as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. Then we are? About that we already robbed the train. What's the next thing that we're going to be doing? Over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. Oh, this guy's Jose. Well, All right, so we got Dutch, here. Jose, Arthur, I, Abigail, Marston, and... Charles and Javier. Those are all the names that I remember right now. I can only really recognize Dutch by his face and then Arthur because that's who we play as and we're staring at him all. And he's always dressed in blue, so he stands out. I don't know everybody else. I know my brother, but we are safe. We make a Yeah, you know your brother. Then we move again. Okay. Sam in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Okay. Sounds good. We're gonna go buy some land. We're gonna be real estate moguls of the wild, wild west. Yeah, it does. Look how beautiful that is. Hey, Doc. See if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Okay, that sounds like he's gonna do something illegal. He's gonna go and try and sell or buy drugs. But he's a he's a doctor, so like pharmacistness, like. That, I guess that would be okay. Okay, town meeting. Here we go. What's going to happen? Yeah, they have, but now it's spring. We're good. Yeah, we are. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay in trouble. Remember, we are a current worker. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there. That's right. See what you can find, Uncle Reverend Okay. No more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town. Okay, we're going to earn our keep. Got it. Valentine. Livestock town. All, mud All right. And morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place Mud and morons. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun, actually. I'd be into that. Food. That means every day, one of you. And remember, yeah. whatever it is that you find, the camp yeah. gets its slice. Now be okay. Out there. Yeah. All right. So just ready, don't go get in some trouble. You two will be ready shortly. All right. So I got to come with this here. lady. What does she want? I'm sure everything will be fine. What's going on over here? It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Yeah, all my stuff got saved. Fantastic. We can always make more money. All right. That's good news for me. I really wasn't thinking about my stuff. I didn't realize I had stuff because I was introduced to him after he... Oh, I can sleep, shave, and change clothes in my tent. Well, I was told that I was too hot, so I'm going to have to put on different clothes. Obviously, because... Whatever. So I can I can play dress up here and look all whatever. Chapter 2. Her Horseshoe Outlook. Overlook. Horseshoe Overlook, because that's where it told me we were before. Got it. All right. So we've reached Chapter 2. Nice. All right, so a couple of weeks later. What happens a couple of weeks later? It is now springtime, and it's beautiful outside. Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, God. It's nice to finally see the world of this game and actually see it. I still don't understand the scope of the map yet, but it looks big and beautiful. I wonder how big the map actually is. I don't know why that's something that I'm always fascinated by. It's like the size of the map of the game is something that I'm very interested in. So is he just like reading out, his writing out loud? I think he was. I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. Jose. Put on that. Okay. Oh, she's got that gold fan. I'm into that. Maybe it's not gold. It's just kind of gold colored. All right. Eat, drink, and rest to maintain your cores. 
All right. Man, I'm going to have to, like, watch my meters and health and cores of stamina and things like that. I was not anticipating needing to do that, but I guess that'll happen and it's okay. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of What about a creepy little smile? Who has... Who's Strauss and why has he got a creepy smile? Was Strauss the doctor who said he was going into town for things? Because then he did some creepy stuff in there and I don't know what he did. Oh, man, we have such a world to explore right now. There's so much to explore. Look around. Look at that. Look at that giant mountain there. So much beautiful stuff to explore. But I'm going to do it in tomorrow's video. So, yeah, I'm still having a great time in this. I'm so glad we're out of the winter now. I was getting real sick of being in the winter. So now we have a whole new world to explore. We're having a great time. But that'll be for tomorrow's video. So in the meantime, if you liked this video, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. And also, if this is your first time to a Game of the Week video, welcome. We are so glad to have you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future Game of the Week videos coming up. And also, if you like me and want more of me in your life, you can follow me on my social media on Twitter and Instagram at Eric Gowder. Got the graphic right there on the screen so you know exactly how to find me there. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.